What's the best plant food or fertilizer to give your plants that are in lecker? This question I don't like so much because I don't like to use the word best because there is no best. It just depends on what you've got available to you and what works for your plants. Honestly, I could sit here and tell you that this is the nutrient solution that you've got to try, but that's just it's rubbish because it's just based on my completely anecdotal opinion. It's not like I got a, did a scientific study where I got all the nutrients in the world, tested them on all my plants, and then came up to a conclusive conclusion that yes, this is the best nutrient solution to use. I got my results peer-reviewed and published in a scientific journal. No, I did not do that. And I doubt that anybody has actually. So everything that most of us are saying is literally just based on our own experience. I like to use growth technology foliage focus. Why? I'll tell you how I started to use Growth Technology Foliage Focus. I was growing my plants in soil. I heard a lot of people say lots of very good things about Foliage Focus. So I went and bought myself some Foliage Focus and started to use it. And it was absolutely fantastic. And then I decided to stop growing my plants in soil. I was exploring you growing my plants in semi-hydroponics lecker. And I found that I could actually use the same nutrient solution that I've already got in my home. And I was like, yeah, okay, that's cool. I don't like to buy new things when I've already got stuff I can use. So that's how I started to use Growth Technology Foliage Focus. And a few years later, here we are. It's still my nutrient of choice. Can you use DynaGrow Foliage Pro? Of course you can. Can you use the general hydroponics range? Of course you can. It just depends on what you've got available and what works. The only thing I will say is if you're growing your plants in LECA, you are certainly better off using a nutrient solution or a fertilizer that's been formulated, that's been specifically made for plants that are growing in semi-hydroponics. I do not recommend going to get an organic fertilizer like a sea salt, for example, something that is made out of fish emulsion or something like that. Not like there's anything wrong with those things. They're absolutely fine when you're growing your plants in soil. When you're growing your plants in lecker, you need something that the plants can actually access. This has been specially formulated and is readily available for the roots to take up. The nutrients in Fertilizers that are made for plants that are growing in semi-hydroponics are readily available. That's the difference. When you get an organic fertilizer, it needs to be broken down. So when you're growing your plants in soil, you, you've got microorganisms in the soil. You've got bacteria. It's, it's a whole microsystem. It's a whole microbiome. And that actually breaks down that organic nutrient into a form that the plant can actually absorb. So when you're growing in LECA, we don't have that microbiome. You've completely missed that step. So if you give your plant organic nutrient solution, your plant will probably start to tank after a while. So it probably won't be immediate because it's already got some reserves. But once all those are spent, it's going to start going downhill. And then you'll start to say that LECA caused your plant to die. No, it's not LECA. It's because your plant actually doesn't have access to the nutrients that you're providing because it's in a form that it can't get. So I think that is all I will say about nutrients and um, I wish you all the best finding a nutrient that works for your plants in NECA.